Hello everyone, welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tracy Quartermain is raising a commotion. Brooklyn was seeking answers from Tracy in the General Hospital recap for August 25, 2023, but she wasn't pleased with what she heard. Highlights from General Hospital. Brooklyn gave Tracy some food for thought following her backgammon game with Finn in this episode. Gregory admitted the truth to Elizabeth, while Christina confessed to Willow. Molly and Alexis dined with the surrogate as well. Nina and Sonny talked about wedding plans before Cody presented his case to Sam. Let's delve a little deeper into the details now. In the solarium, Finn and Tracy, Jane Elliott, sat down to play backgammon. Tracy inquired about Gregory, but Finn did not reveal anything. He was well aware that Gregory's diagnosis was not his to reveal. Tracy had defeated Finn in backgammon once more at the end of the conversation. When Brooke Lynn first discovered about the deception issues, she felt Granny Tracy was at blame. She stormed into the backgammon game, demanding explanations. Tracy had some explaining to do when Finn left. She told BLQ that Lucy stole the deceptor ideas from the company with which she has been working. Brooke Lynn was surprised to learn that Tracy hoped deception would go out of business. When Brooke Lynn questioned Tracy why she wanted to end people's lives, she had some thoughts. Gregory, on the other hand, thought he needed to notify Elizabeth about his situation so she might offer support and comfort to Finn. Of course, she was astonished, but she was also empathetic. Gregory said that he chose to reveal the truth to Liz before his son, Chase. Recap of General Hospital, Mothers and Daughters Molly and Alexis met with potential surrogate Andrea at the Metro Court pool, unaware that Christina was watching them. Alexis offered Christina a sympathetic glance, so Christina made a fast escape but did not appear happy. As Alexis became acquainted with this seemingly ideal surrogate, she noted that there would be an emotional component to this for everyone. This was more than just a legal agreement. Willow dropped by GH to speak with Elizabeth about returning to work. She felt like her old self again and couldn't wait to get back into the swing of things. Elizabeth believed it was too soon, but Willow was ready to go provided Terry approved. Christina was the next person Willow encountered. Christina told her about the LGBT center and how she felt excluded from Molly's life. She even informed Willow everything about Molly's fertility and surrogacy problems. Sunny and Nina met at her workplace, where Sunny surprised her with a stunning diamond necklace. Nina was only curious whether it was an apology for keeping all of these secrets from her. She then brought up his recent encounter with Ava to try to figure out what was going on. Sonny claimed that he couldn't tell her yet. Some of what he does is better left unsaid. He is, after all, a mobster. Sonny moved the conversation to their wedding because they were having a private dinner. Nina desired a winter wedding in order to ensure Willow's medical clearance as part of the ceremony. G.H. Cody and Sam are all in for Sasha, recap. Cody implored Sam to assist him in getting committed to Ferncliffe, he intended to grant her power of attorney and wanted her to commit him. Sam declined because she believed it would simply aggravate Sasha, who was already violent and insane. Cody insisted she wasn't and claimed Gladys was drugging her. Sam believed that Cody's presence would only serve to further traumatize her. Sam ultimately agreed to hear Cody out, and he explained why he believed Sasha was being sabotaged. Things began to go bad for her just as she was about to relinquish her guardianship. Sam had to accept that he was correct and eventually agreed to assist him. Discover what the GH spoilers for August 28, September 1, 2023, have in store for your favorite Port Charles characters. These general hospital spoilers hint at pandemonium inside and outside of a courtroom, a tall narrative expertly told, and much more. This is a week he will not want to miss, Lucy vents her rage on Martin, as well as the contents of her drinking glass just before her court appearance. If you're curious, it's a pina colada. Furthermore, Lucy seeks an explanation for Martin's money from ex-wife number three. 
Though Lucy is eventually calmed, the moment is fleeting. Especially given the character of the opposing lawyer, Pine Valley transplant Jackson Montgomery, and the identity of the plaintiff. Gladys, with nothing to lose and two big bads breathing down her neck, bites the bullet and goes to Nina, figurative hat in hand. Gladys tells Nina a narrative in which she and Sasha are both pawns in a conspiracy perpetrated by the villainous, money-hungry Dr. Montag, and the only route out for the ladies, a substantial donation that Gladys simply cannot afford, but, with her vast resources, Nina should have no trouble obtaining the funds, right? In other general hospital spoilers, Jocelyn confides in Carly, Spencer confides in Alexis, Brick and Sonny collaborate, Diane's curiosity is piqued, Tracy causes a commotion, and Selena is foiled. Meanwhile, after Cody puts on quite a show for a psychiatrist contemplating his fate, Dante attempts to gain access to Fancliffe in order to see Sasha and assess her condition for himself. Finally, according to GH spoilers, Olivia is doing everything she can to rekindle Nettie's memory of Ned. Will her ruse be successful? Lucy Co. requires the truth right now. General Hospital spoilers for August 28, 2023 feature intriguing inquiries, important advice, encouraging moments, and much more. You won't want to miss a single second of this exciting new episode. Highlights from General Hospital. Lucy's life appears to be falling apart once more, and not even her gummies can help. Deception is being sued, and she has no idea why anyone would suspect her of stealing the idea for the deceptor. Lucy begins to doubt everything when she discovers that the plaintiff's lawyer is none other than Jackson Montgomery. Marty's $50,000 monthly deposits are brought up again, and she eventually demands that he tell her which ex-wife is making them and who she is. Lucy appears to be in for quite a few more surprises. Finn is falling apart at General Hospital. Finn still can't believe Gregory has ALS and that his father withheld the information from him for so long. He'd avoided Gregory for years, and now that they are close, he knows he will lose him soon. Gregory, too, will live a terrible life with the time he has left. That is why he confided in Elizabeth about his sickness, to ensure that his son has someone to turn to when the disease worsens. He doesn't have to be concerned, because G.H. spoilers state that Liz consoles Finn. It will be difficult to watch Gregory's health deteriorate, but at least they will have each other. Curtis is beginning to realize that he must abandon his pity party and move on with his life, whether he can walk or not. He's still not ready to accept Portia into his life, but will he change his mind about her and the prospect of returning home when Stella swings by rehab to provide some advice? Finally, Christina goes in search of her mother, and Alexis is there to help her. Will she have any counsel for her middle daughter, Christina, and will Christina listen to her mother, which she is not usually willing to do so? What do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.